Today's a crazy day. We were supposed to go to the Bahamas today in the gut bucket on a spear fishing trip, but I was expecting huge storms, so we called it off, and then we didn't get big storms. So we came out to the ranch. Well, then this youngster named Jeffrey, he calls me out of the blue. He's a fan of the channel. I've never met him before. He starts telling me how he loves archery hunting and he shoots a, a Diamond Edge SB1. I'm like, heck, that's the same bow I shoot. So I said, well, where are you at? He tells me he's like 45 minutes from the ranch. I said, get your butt out of here. I'm taking you hog hunting. So he about had a heart attack. And now we're pulling up to the, uh, to the gate to pick him up right now. So we're gonna be meeting him same time y'all are. This is probably the biggest 16 year old child I've ever seen in my life. You're huge, man. Let's go hunting. Thank you. I have not shot this bow in a few months. The good thing about it is when you practice the same mechanics over and over and over again, it doesn't matter. You should be able to come out here, get ready and go. That's 20 yards, which is about my, my typical shot right behind the front shoulder. That's it. That's a $400 bow straight out of the box. Diamond Edge. Archery season starts August of this year. I've shot a lot of bows in my life. That's like a really cool bow. You have blood here. Blood on the sleeve next to my right leg. Oh, here's my arrow right here. It's not the biggest hog in the world, so it shouldn't be too far. Here's blood right here. Huh? Right here in the hog. Like I said, he didn't go too far. We got hound dog Jeff. He saw him and found him. That hog didn't go 20 yards. Good job. That's exactly what we're looking for. Out here, I'm not looking for some big boar hog. I'm looking for a good hog to eat because this is catch, clean, and cook. Now, if you want to see footage of me cleaning this hog, skinning it, quartering it out, getting it ready to cook, click on the link below. 
I can't show it in this video, otherwise it, it'll get, you know, flagged. Click on the link below, watch that video, and then, uh, and then we'll be back in the kitchen cooking it up. Awesome, good deal. All right, so here we are, as promised, in the kitchen, and who's ready to have some fun? That right there, y'all, is good old wild hog bag strap. That is probably one of the most popular pieces of meat on any wild game animal. Take you a nice sharp knife. I love to use this fillet knife. Cut right down, not all the way through it, just right down to that silver skin. And then just fillet it right off. Just like that. That thick membrane right there is called silver skin. And if you try cooking it, you won't be happy because it's very tough. All right. There's Emma, she's ready to go. So there's all our pieces of trimmed up backstrap. Gonna use a little bit of Everglades cactus dust. All right, let's have some fun. Take our seasoned pieces of meat and we're gonna roll them right here in flour. Then we will roll it in an egg wash. The egg wash is three eggs, uh, maybe a little bit of heavy whipping cream and some Everglades cactus dust. I always like to season up my egg wash. Check that out. Hey, check that out. That right there is some love and goodness. Now let's get this party going. Take that, lay that meat right in there. Don't wanna crowd the pan. In here, got my steamer going. Drop them carrots in there. This pan, let's get it hot. Two cups of chicken stock. Our meat, we do not want it to cook too much in there. We're just trying to brown it like that. I guarantee you this is gonna be good. As this meat comes to a little golden brown on both sides, we're just gonna throw it in the oven. Oven is set at 275 degrees. Let's keep browning our meat. To have a hog like this that yesterday afternoon had no idea was about to become food. In my opinion, that's way better than spending its life in a pen, being fattened up, and then led to slaughter. Hunting wild game is perfect because the game lives a wild life. And as long as you're an ethical, moral, proper hunter, pow, pow everything comes to an end quickly, the meat is processed properly, and then the meat is enjoyed. I mean, that's, that's perfect in my opinion. I'm working as fast as I can. How much longer? All right, so Sarah is like, I need food fast. I got one last piece of meat here. I'm gonna cut it up in little medallions and cook it as fast as possible. Little shallot. Stand up. You'll see what I'm using this for very shortly. So in here, two cups of chicken stock and two cups of tricolored couscous. Bring it to a boil, throw it in there. Take you something and just stir it around. Let it come back to a boil, then reduce your heat and cover it. Aria's food is done. This actually looks delicious. See all that? That pan has a little oil in it and a ton of flavor. Just throw those shallots right in there. Let them start cooking down. These shallots are becoming just amazing aroma in the kitchen. Now, take a little all-purpose flour. Thicken that up. Mm. 
And now we're going to add some beef stock. About that much. Look how creamy and smooth and beautiful that sauce is. Oh, someone is upset. So that crisis was averted. Parents out there, you know, sometimes things just go crazy. Aria and Emma were so tired because they played so much today and just had to get them some food, get them put down. Now me and Sarah are gonna finish this meal up and eat together. Just let your knife do the work. We've been eating a lot of couscous, quinoa, stuff like that lately. A couple of carrots. Finish it off with a little shallot gravy. Well, I ain't sure how we did it, but we did it. We had one heck of a day today. Say the blessing. Good day. Lord, thank you so much for this day. Thank you for our safety, our protection, our strength, and our health. Lord, thank you for this food, and thank you for today. Please nourish it to our body. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right, y'all. We're gonna have to get a little GoPro action so you guys can see it up close. I feel like we're back in the condo, just us two eating a big meal. Like this is what we did. Mm -hmm. yeah. Late at night. Mm, the sauce is really good. It is. It's all we got for you. The girls are sleeping. Me and mom are gonna hang out on the couch, maybe watch a movie. Or just go to bed. You guys get it. <laughs> Love you, take care, God bless, and we're gone.